Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. So, uh, this is just some ideas I'm sharing with y'all. So we could have the government create this system of clean, eco-friendly commerce of the essentials one needs to survive. So in order for this to work, um, a centralized point of power, um, <clears throat> like for grocery stores and, and like essentials that we need to survive, food, water, you know, power, these types of things that are absolutely, you know, that we're dependent on. I mean, the power thing isn't really a, an absolute essential, but in um, the time that we're living in, we have become very dependent on it to communicate, to, to do all sorts of shit. So, I mean, it's kind of, I just threw it in there as a part of uh, the essentials, but it really isn't. But anyways, moving on here. So this is an idea that it could be, um, that the government could be working on right now to ensure that if some type of catastrophe does happen whether it's a natural disaster whether it's a, another war an alien invasion um even like an invasion here that's been infiltrated by you know other people that are here um we could at least have in each major city or even in some of the smaller cities you could have a, like a centralized place where all of the goods um that we need to survive food water and they're all organic all good for you all this types of stuff are, are there and we have you put money put taxpayer money put the people's money into ensuring we have a contingency plan in case of a catastrophe I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think people would rather see money going to that than, than perhaps NASA or some of these other um, governmental organizations that, I mean, we spend so much money on healthcare and yet we're like the sickest nation in the world. So it's like we have our priorities, in my opinion, um, a little m mixed up. So we need to reexamine all of our, everything about our country, really, and start really asking the people what they want. Like, what type of a future do they want? Do they, I mean, we have more power than we think, and there's a lot of power here in America, and there's no, it wouldn't be that hard to develop some type of a commerce system that could create a type of, like, like a, you know, like a, a basically, uh, I mean, it wouldn't even just be, it could be for, for anything. Like, the prices could be made really cheap. Like, we're living in a time where a lot of people here in Portland can't even pay their rent. So it's like <clears throat> one way that would help out with that if they, they they could get food at a much cheaper price that's actually good for them, that would at least help them at least have more money for rent. And it would also take off the the uh, the, the renters. The One reason why renters charge so much is because other things go up. So it's like if we start implementing lower costs to things that we need, other companies and, and uh, businesses and people will start lowering. I mean, it's possible they could start lowering their costs. And you could even put government regulations that enable people or I mean, that keep people, excuse me, from hiring their from uh, raising their prices. I mean, one more time, when we're living in a time when people are literally having to go onto the streets because they can't pay for their rent, like why do we keep rising our prices? Like that's not in the public's best interest. Why not have some type of law that a regulation that, that keeps people from raising prices at a time when people are barely able to pay for their fucking, their rent, a roof over their head. So anyways, um, I, I haven't really been reading the exact words I wrote, but I thought I'd just share it with y'all. All right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.